Kamehameha! What's happening? Dragon Ball Magnus Sites. So, I get this email, and uh, it's from Nine Tails Pro. And uh, he sent me a link to this article. And it's saying that there will be a new Dragon Ball Z film in 2015 by creator Toriyama. So let me read this real fast, all right? It says, uh, the September issue of something, V Jump Magazine, is announcing on Saturday that a new Dragon Ball Z movie will open during the Golden Week string of holidays next spring. Dragon Ball manga creator Akira Toriyama is personally credited with the original concept, screenplay, and character designs of the new movie that the entire universe eagerly awaits. Toriyama confirmed the, with the magazine that this new film, like last year's Dragon Ball Z Battle of Gods, will tell a new story. He had intended uh, to write this story as if it was a continuation of the manga's original serialization. Although he did not plan on it, he is not only putting a lot of effort into the drawing and the art, but also fussing over the smallest dialogue lines. He also promised more action scenes, and he teased that the story is still secret, but will be utterly funny. I have something to say about that in a second. To emphasize the effort he has put into the new film, Toriyama said that his first manga editor praised him on the work he has done. Even though this editor rarely ever does that, Toriyama is confident that fans will be able to thoroughly enjoy the movie. He is currently drawing up new character designs and asked his fans to look forward to the movie. I'm not excited. The reason why is, first of all, I've seen Battle of Gods, and I really wasn't exactly a fan of that. Um, Bills came out there, and everybody was basically acting like a bitch. And I understand why they were scared. But, I mean, you see how Vegeta put on that dumbass show, and they're all scared. I mean, Vegeta is one of my favorites. He is a battle-hardened motherfucker. I mean, if... It, it, the good Vegeta. If anybody you wanted to pick to be your fucking pop, wouldn't he be the one to come up to the school if you got in trouble? Or if somebody whooped your ass for him to talk to you and instill some pride in you and to go whoop that kid's ass? So I love so much about Vegeta. He just bitched out in that. It seemed to be a little bit different. The, the, the Battle of Gods movie seemed to go a little bit different than... It had a different tone than I was used to the uh, animated series having. I don't read the manga, so if I'm off, just let me know, Magnusites. If I'm off, I'm off, okay? I am a fan of the Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z series as it is animated, okay? Now, it says Toriyama is going to make it utterly funny. No, I am not down with him making it utterly funny. It's, co it's okay for a little bit of comic relief throughout the movie, but come on now. What do we all come for? We don't come for the comedy. We come for the dramatic dialogue and fight scenes. That's exactly what we come for, Toriyama. Come on now. Okay. I mean, I really don't really have to say more. And... I watched this one channel, and the guy is always doing Dragon Ball Z updates. And he said that Toriyama said there weren't going to be any more transformations. Do you know how long we have had a big-ass cup of uh, Super Saiyan 4? Okay, a new Super Saiyan 4 or Super Saiyan 5 sitting on our fucking table ready to drink that son of a bitch? You know how long we be waiting, and you telling us there ain't going to be another transformation? Well, goddamn better sure better be some more abilities. Okay, because the, the God, the Super Saiyan God form is just a, it's like an ability. I mean, he used all their powers to augment his, and, you know, it's similar to what he did with Broly. Remember that? They all gave him power, and, you know, then he was able to whoop Broly's ass. But, a, you know, I mean, it's, like I said, I, um, I don't know what to think of it. 
you know, um, this new one was okay. And um, if they don't get back their original Vegeta voice, I'm going to have to kick somebody's ass. I don't know who's, but it's going to have to be somebody's ass. Because when I saw the American preview for Battle of Gods, I was like, that didn't sound like Vegeta at all. Fuck y'all doing. You get what I'm saying? I mean, you just, there are certain voices that are so iconic that you cannot change it. And one of them is Vegeta's voice. The Prince of All Saiyans. I mean, you can't change that to, hey, how you doing, guys? I'm the Prince of All Saiyans. Oh, no, it's Bills. No, no, okay? Vegeta is gritty, grimy. He's a fucking thug, all right? And the second greatest fighter of all times, okay? Why the fuck would y'all change his voice? I don't... All right, look, I'm done talking about this. So there's going to be a new Dragon Ball Z movie in 2015. Let's see what happens. I will check out the American release of Battle of Gods. Rewatch it to see how, you know, because I mean, I, I like some of the Japanimation versions. I do. But I'm mainly a fan of the, um, you know, the, the, the American converted versions. I just like the way they portray him, you know. I mean, um... Vegeta's voice is different in the uh, Japanese one, although I could take that one if I if I was introduced to it first. And Gohan, Goten, and Goku are all voiced by women. And they said they're voiced by women to show their innocence. So I guess that works in that culture. Over here, they couldn't be voiced by women because it wouldn't make any sense to us. You get what I'm saying? We'd be like, what the what? Is he gay? Is he, what, cross-dresser? If he just, his voice just like, what the fuck is going on here? Why does he sound like my mom? So, I'm done talking about Dragon Ball Z right now. Alright? Um, let me know what y'all think of this shit. Alright? Kame! Kame! <laughs>